This is my Lab 1 walkthrough on how to build an SOPC processor using Altera Cordis version 12.1. To start, I created a new project, opened up a block diagram file, and created a few inputs. A clock, a ground, and a four-wide bus input. Then I created an eight-wide bus output. To create my SOPC chip, I go to Tools, SOPC Builder. For this example, I'll open up the one I've already created. To start, you're going to want to add your processor. So you go to Processors in the Navigating window and select an iOS 2 processor. I've already made one, so I'll just show you what I did. For the first window, I selected an iOS 2 slash F. This should be the default. You will notice on yours, these memory uh, selectors will be blank then make sure to uncheck these boxes. Include MMU and MPU. Click Next, all the way over, leaving a settings as default until you get to the debug module. And then select Level 3. Then Finish. And it will add the chip into this window. Next, you want to create your RAM. You go to Memories and Memory Controllers in the Navigator. On Chip, and then On Chip RAM you'll get a window like this. For this example, we're using 8 kilobytes of memory. And make sure the RAM is writable, not read-only. Then you select Finish. Now, as you see, it's named my memory on chip memory 2 underscore 0. You have to go back to the CPU, and in this drop-down menu, you will find that the memory is here. This binds the memory to that processor, rather than using the on chip of the board. Then you'll add your PIO input. Another way to search for your input here in the component library is to type it in. Just simply type in PIO and you'll get parallel I.O. input. For my inputs, a four-wide input bus, and then finish. My output is the same, eight-wide, but this time I selected output, and finish. And then just add a, a JTAG and a SysID. You can create VHDL files, but we're not going to for this example. And then you click Generate. You will want to save yours. I'm not going to because I already have one made. This will take some time. It is compiling about 3,000 lines of code. As you can see, it was successful. We close it. I'm not going to save mine. To add the SOPC chip into your design, you go to where you would add anything, your libraries, and under project you will see whatever you named it. For example, mine is named Lab1. You open it up and this is what your SOPC chip should look like. And you click add, and you drop it in. So now I have what should be a functioning circuit, and then you can just compile it. And if all is connected correctly, it should compile and work. And that is how you create an SOPC chip using Altera Portis version 12.1 SOPC builder.